Predicting when Tiffany Stratton will cash in her WWE Money in the Bank briefcase, several moments from Money in the Bank 2024 are bound to keep WWE fans buzzing for the remainder of the weekend and beyond, including John Cena announcing an upcoming retirement tour and CM Punk once again exacting revenge on Drew McIntyre by costing him the World Heavyweight Championship. The entire won the men's money in the bank ladder match and went on to waste the contract by cashing it in unsuccessfully against Damian Priest, while Tiffany Stratton reigned supreme in the women's ladder matchup to become Ms. Money in the Bank. It was a hard-fought war with Stratton outlasting some of SmackDown and Raw's finest female competitors. By virtue of her victory, Stratton has earned the opportunity to challenge for a world championship of her choosing at any time over the next year. She already had a bright future ahead of her, and with the coveted briefcase in her possession, it's virtually guaranteed she'll be holding gold before her rookie year on WWE's main roster is through. Let's look at the buff Barbie doll's road to cashing in the contract and when would be best for it to come to fruition. Stratton has won over the WWE audience in short order despite signing with SmackDown only six months ago. She's undoubtedly been one of the company's better booked call-ups from NXT in recent memory, she made an immediate impact on the blue brand, had a stellar showing inside the Elimination Chamber, and impressed in the WWE Women's Championship triple threat at Backlash as well as in the Queen of the Ring tournament. Of everyone involved in the women's money in the bank ladder match, she made the most sense to win. Even with her lack of experience compared to her opponents, Stratton has quickly proven that she is championship material. Although she already unsuccessfully challenged for the WWE Women's Championship earlier this year, the Money in the Bank briefcase suits her current character perfectly and allows her to remain relevant until the time comes for her to finally cash in. The opportunistic contract will be the first of many accolades for her on the main roster. Shortly following Stratton's triumph in the Money in the Bank ladder match, she had an interesting altercation with Toronto's own Trish Stratus backstage that saw the two exchange words and potentially plant the seeds for a future face-off. Stratus worked as the host of the event for the evening, so the run-in was by no means random, but surely it's possible that it was designed to test the waters for something more in the not-too-distant future. In many ways, Stratton is the modern-day Stratus. She too did not come from a pro wrestling background yet has exceeded all expectations and has shown plenty of improvement extremely quickly. The WWE Hall of Famer last competed at last September's Payback pay-per-view where she finished her feud with Becky Lynch in a grueling steel cage match. It was among the best performances of Stratus' career so she could clearly hang with Stratton if the opportunity were to present itself. A bout between them wouldn't have any bearing on her inevitable money in the bank cash-in, but beating Stratus would be the ultimate endorsement of Stratton on her path to becoming champion. However, a rivalry with Trish Stratus would be a much better use of Stratton in the aftermath of money in the bank, but it's far more likely she'll be spending the coming months teaming with Nia Jax and teasing cashing in on her. Jax is slated to challenge Bayley for the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam after earning the opportunity from winning the Queen of the Ring tournament. Bayley could find a way to retain, but Jax's dominance might be too much for her to overcome. If there were any time for Jax to get a run with the belt, this would be it. Of course, Bayley would be an easier opponent to cash in on than Jax, but her blooming friendship with Jax makes for the stronger story while Stratton is Ms. Money in the Bank. As seen on the July 5 edition of SmackDown, Mission saved Bailey from Jax, so Jax calling upon Stratton to help her battle Bailey and Mission ahead of SummerSlam is a logical direction to go in. The two can also eventually wage war with Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill after Jax likely claims the WWE Women's title. Stratton will have enough on her plate that it isn't imperative her cash-in is imminent. Not only will Stratton be kept busy in various feuds as Ms. Money in the Bank, Holding on to the contract for the remainder of 2024 gives her more time to further hone her skills before becoming champion. As noted, she's made great strides in all areas since debuting in NXT nearly three years ago, considering her lack of experience in the business prior to that point. However, there's plenty of room for improvement, and she shouldn't be exposed for not being ready for a title run by capturing the prestigious prize too soon. Working with the seasoned veterans of SmackDown will be the most effective way of elevating her to that next level and affording her the opportunities to improve. 
A non-title feud with Bailey in particular would benefit her tremendously. Additionally, if Jax does manage to unseat Bailey as WWE Women's Champion at SummerSlam, she shouldn't lose it prematurely. She can enjoy a solid title run and have defenses against the likes of Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill before Stratton cashes in either at the end of 2024 or early 2025. It's impossible to tell what SmackDown's landscape will look like six months from now, but it should be a stacked scene with Bailey, Nia Jax, Naomi, Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair and the returning Bianca Belair all in the mix at any given time. That ensures Tiffany Stratton will have a plethora of opponents to work with if she clinches the championship around the turn of the year. Yo Sky cashed in her Money in the Bank contract at last year's installment of SummerSlam and held on to the gold until WrestleMania 40. Stratton's reign may not ultimately be as lengthy, but she should also have the chance to walk into WrestleMania as the defending champ. Matches with Flair and Belair are worthy of the WrestleMania stage, especially if she stays in the heel role as she should. Stratton's popularity has already skyrocketed, so once she finally trades in her guaranteed title shot for the title itself, there will be no denying her place among the elite. A surprise cash-in would be more in line with what her character would do, regardless of who it's against. Tiffy in the bank has endless potential and could go down as one of the best runs with the briefcase if booked accordingly. Hi lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Lima, hope your day is so well. If you like the video and subscribe the channel.